Hey guys, what's up? Here's the site from Ranking10x.com and in this video, I'm going to go over and discuss about six plus local SEO tools that we are using in our agency and that's helping us and our clients grow and, you know, actually rank in Google Map Pack and also Google Search. So without any further ado, let's directly jump into the main topic. Just note that if in case you're looking for an SEO agency you know, that can actually help you grow and scale, feel free to book a call with me using the link given in the description and pinned comment. Now let's jump into the main topic. The first and foremost tool is Clipper Local SEO tool. This is crazy helpful tool, okay? I would want all of you to actually have this. This is absolutely free tool. And uh, I guess half of the tools that I'm gonna mention in the video is gonna be uh, free. And other two or three tools will be paid, you know? Don't just look for uh, only pay, uh, free tools. Paid ones are gonna be really good for you as well. And actually invest something in your business. That, that's the only way you would be able to get the ROI and the money that you want, okay? This tool is pretty great. This is, again, you know, absolutely free tool. I'll, I'll just put the link of it in the description too. You can just check that out. Now, what this does is, if you search any business on Google Maps, you would see something uh, like a box added, you know, in the right side. This is what uh, Plepo is adding, you know? So if you see uh, the business name, then uh, whether, sorry, whether it's verified or not, then you know all the categories listed, then place ID, CID, profile, business profile ID, if you don't know what CID is, it's kind of a unique ID number uh, that's given to each of the businesses, uh, you know, actually verified on Google My Business. Then address, then phone number, then website, again, you would see exact URL that's added to the website, not just, not just you know, the domain name, rather the exact URL, again, you can click on any of these and that will redirect to that particular page and will show the relevant data. For instance, this one which will show the page speed insights. This one will uh, show, you know, Google mobile friendly test. This one is of structured data tests or schema sort of test. Then this one would be, you know, kind of website analysis. Then this one would be same SEMrush website analysis. And then, you know, who is information. Then you have got reviews number here. Then, you know, rate overall rating. Then, you know, coordinates. This is pretty, pretty useful. When you do local SEO, then, you know, KGID. Again, somewhat uh, really helpful if you know how to use this. Then attributes. You can just click on show attributes and this will show, you know, kind of... Uh, uh, you know service options you can just uh, actually do this for your business as well you you can uh, just go on your edit profile section and you will see service options and you can just tick or untick uh, whatever service options you want to show okay then you have got you know google cid url then map google maps link then you know google pro list results then you know google writer review link then you know bing and tons of other stuff now another great stuff here Okay, ranking fluctuation detected. Okay, what it does is it kind of analyzes you know, the recent ranking of this business and would rate whether this business is seeing a bit of movement, be it negative or positive. If it's seeing it, uh, and then it will rate that particular you know fluctuation uh, result of that business. Okay, for instance, if a business is actually seeing very negative effect, it might uh, you know show some uh, results, some something like you know seven out of ten or eight out of out of ten, or uh, you know something along that line. Makes sense. Now our, our other one is GMB everywhere. This is again a great tool. Okay, what it does is again you know show you categories and all, and then also does GMB or GBP audit. Uh, you know. Let me show you that now if you see if you see the categories that you're seeing and this section you know five of the buttons that you're seeing this is actually given uh, or provided by gmb everywhere or a tool okay again this is a free tool they are also having a, a you know they are also having a paid plan if you want to go but uh, for most of the businesses uh un unless you are having 50 or you know even you know 30 plus clients you won't need you know paid plan okay so it would show you GMB categories, then you know, you can do a basic audit, then review audit, teleport, post audit. With teleport, it would just, you know, teleport you to the exact your exact location or the coordinates of this particular business. But the, but, the, but the most important one is basic audit, okay? This one is the most important. You can just go and, you know, you would need to either log in or, you know, uh, sign up with uh, this tool. And then you would have the rel or relevant option, you know, let me show you. I'm not sure if, uh, if it would work as of now. Yeah, it's working pretty good. 
Okay, now you have got the business status, latitude, longitude, categories, CID number, place ID, business profile ID, you know, review list, display link, review request link, knowledge panel ID, question and answers URL, you know, services, fucking a lot of stuff. Okay, you have got a lot of stuff and you can just click on any of the URL and that will show you all the relevant information. This is really good stuff. Then you can also click on website audit links, any of the one that you want to see. Pretty good one. Okay. Now, the other one, again, as I said, you know, it's free as well as it's paid. Okay. You can opt for paid plan if you think, uh, if you think, you know, you are having a mass number of GMB profiles, probably more than 10. You can opt for a paid one, but if, uh, if you are not having those amount of GMB with you, the free one should be fine. The next one is SEO Minion. This is a really helpful tool. What it does is it kind of gives you a gist or summary of the on-page SEO of a particular web page. Okay, let me show you that uh, just a second. And yeah, here it is. So I've got onto this particular page and just click on the SEO Minion extension and it's showing me all the relevant information. Now for doing a quick on-page audit, this is something that that's really helpful we uh you know we do this for all of our clients and all of our prospects as well so you can check the url total number of words characters on that particular page then your know, title then description then you know canonical or uh, url then meta robots whether it's indexed uh, whether you know it's indexed or not or whether the meta robot is allowing it uh, along this page to be indexed or not then you know headings this is the main stuff right then you have got you know type of uh, all the heading h2 is uh, sorry h1 h2 is three you can just have a look at uh, add them quickly and then you can decide whether it's on page optimized or not you know it's pretty easy okay then you have got the open graph se section here you know then twitter graph and a lot of stuff other other than that you have also got broken links you know you can just click on check broken links and it will show all the uh you know valid non-valid or uh, you know all the broken and those sort of links. Other than that, you have SERP preview. You can just uh, preview SERP uh, by searching the query and all. Then you have SERP location changer. This is, sorry, checker. This is again a very important and very helpful stuff. You would just need to, you know, kind of, sorry. You would just need to kind of check where it is. Okay. Now you have got the stuff here. Other than that, now let's move on to the other tool that we use a lot. Okay. So this one is Page Optimizer Pro. This is how it looks uh, when you optimize a page using Page Optimizer Pro. This is a paid tool. Uh, you can just go on Google and search for Page Optimizer Pro, and if you can just quickly check whether what's the pricing. I guess it's sixty euro or so. Yep, sixty bucks. Uh, so it starts from thirty four bucks a month. Then you know you know you have forty seven, then sixty one. Uh, so this is pretty good tool again, you know, to do the on page and all the stuff. This is how it will look when you uh, do a on page audit of a page. You've got a lot of stuff, you know, all the subheadings, headings, entities, and a lot of stuff actually. You know, it will show you what's the target, what count of this page, uh, paid sections, you know, page structure, Google NLP, EAT signal, schema, LSI, and variations, custom strategy, advanced analysis. You know a lot of stuff okay now after this one we have got a free tool that's validator.schema.org okay so the thing is this might not be uh, helpful for the people who are not utilizing schema uh, before i jump into and before i discuss about how it works and all let me explain uh, let me explain what schema is schema is basically uh, some sort of quotes and all that you add to your page uh, to help Google understand about that particular page in a better manner. Okay. So for instance, you can just go on validator.schema.org and you can just click on new test and you can put your, uh, you know, URL here and just click on run test. What it will do is it will quickly check uh, whether you are having schema or not. And if yes, it will quickly show you what schema you are having. Okay. All the stuff makes sense and it it actually uh, kind of gives me a data whether that particular business is actually having a good schema or just uh, you know kind of a written schema that most of the people or most of the prospects are having okay so then we have got 
uh, you know, then we know that we need to improve on this stuff. Okay. Now, other than that, the last two, I guess. Oh no, uh, sorry. Second last, actually, GS location changer. Again, this is a free tool. Okay. What it will do is it will it will actually give you an option to uh, get on the location virtually or get on the coordinates that you want. Okay, for instance, if I've got a client in uh, you know Queens, New York. Okay, and if I'm located in London. Okay, so I would need to preview the Google Map Pack and I would need to preview the SERP and Google Search uh, of that particular location. I cannot just search for you know. Uh, you know, Jeweler NYC because even though it will show me most of the relevant uh, businesses in NYC, it won't show me all the businesses. Uh, you know, it won't be uh, actually location centric. You getting my point? That's the reason we want to have our IP or our location situated or virtually located in that particular place where a uh, place where we want to search. It's pretty simple tool. You can just click on that. You can put the location, you know, kind of geolocation. Uh, this is going to be about the country, US, you know, UK, whatever you want to put here, put here, then, you know, language, then location. Very easy and very handy tool. Then at the very end, we have got this one. This is up tools or, up, uh, you know, up to up schema by up tools. Uh, this tool helps you build a really good schema without knowing the, uh, without knowing the code, you know, you can just on uh, up schema and you would be able to write all the schema and when I say all the schema, I do mean pretty advanced schema. I don't really mean, you know, the ones that you can just add uh, or, you know, that you can just create while, you know, your test, your rank math, all those, fucking, you know, crazy thin schema. I don't mean that. Okay. You can just go here, uh, click on add new, uh, what sort of schema you want to create. For instance, if I want to create local business schema, I can just uh, click on that or whether if I want to create a custom schema, that's, that's working uh, in this tool as well. Then I can fill all the information here, you know, I don't need to know the codes and all or, and I don't need to actually, you know, code to get a really good schema. I can just pull and put the information here and then I can just copy that. I can put that code on my web page as simple as that. So this was all about this particular video. Again, this was a paid. This is actually a pay tool. If you want to um, actually buy that, just go on the link given in the description. I will put all the relevant tools, information uh, and links in the description. Okay. This was all again, just notifying you if you're looking for an SEO agency or if you're looking for some sort of wing building, uh, you know, services, feel free to go to ranking or just book a call with me using the link given in the description and pin comment. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.